Hi friends, I've missed you. Today I'm very excited to show you one of my favorite habitats. It's the Pine Rockland Habitat. And as you can tell, it's dominated by the pine tree. Now this pine tree is very special. Less than 2% of this type of tree still exists in the world today. This type of habitat only thrives with burns. As you can see here, there was a fire recently. And this tree, this type of wood is fire resistant and termite resistant. The outer layers, eventually, the burn parts just peel right off and the tree survives. It's not just the pine tree that can survive the fires. It's all of the native plants to the pine rockland habitat, like this cabbage palm here. So what the fires do is clear out debris and all of the plants that are not supposed to be in this habitat. All of the invasive exotic plants, they get burned and they can't survive the fires help clear way and activate certain seeds into sprouting, like this blue-eyed grass here. See? Who recognizes this beauty? If you guessed that it's the beauty berry, you are correct. Now what's special about the beauty berry is that it feeds the birds, these berries are edible to the birds and humans. Humans like to make a jam out of it and we use the leaves as insect repellent. Now here we have a, a bunch of caterpillars on this saw palmetto. This type of caterpillar turns into the echo moth. Now we talked about the pine trees being such an important part of the pine rockland habitat, but we didn't get into the rocks yet. These rocks are made of limestone and they're growing all, they're all over the grounds. Oh look, we have an echo moth caterpillar here. So the plants of this habitat have adapted to grow out of the pores from these limestones and they get their nutrients from from the rocks as well now here's a plant you should all know because miss sylvia has them scattered around your campus who recognizes this guy it's kunti Now earlier, we saw the echo moth caterpillars munching on the saw palmetto flowers. But I want to talk to you a little bit more about this saw palmetto. This type of tree has a trunk that grows along the ground and then goes up. And then it also creates these berries here that are medicinal. They serve as a medicine. This berry from the saw palmetto helps to fight certain types of cancer in older men. Now this is a plant I really want you to get familiar with so that you can avoid rubbing against it when you come across it in nature. This is poison ivy. It has three leaves. It's three leaves a shiny. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is a native plant and it belongs here. So you just need to make sure you don't get the oils on your skin because it will make you so itchy. That's a woody woodpecker. Thank you for joining me on this field trip through one of my favorite spaces, the Pine Rockland. I hope you've learned a few things. 
Next week, I want to take you on a virtual field trip through this Miami Heroes Garden. He turned his backyard into a native habitat. Such a small space turned with over hundreds of different plant species. So I'm really looking forward to doing that with you next week. And as for today, let's conclude with our Mother Earth song, singing about the pine tree. Ready? Together, on the count of three. One, two, three. Mother Earth, to you we are singing. Thank you for the pine trees you are bringing.